Hey guys, today we're going to talk about natural point of aim. Why is this so important? In the real world, speed is your friend. You need speed and you need time. Time will buy you um, some things to react to a situation. For instance, we have a target in front of us. Let's say this is the scenario right now. He's the bad guy. He's got either a knife, a gun, it's a life-threatening situation for you, your family, whatever. First thing I'll do is I'll start indexing. I know I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to, I'm going to probably going to get into a fight. If there's a lot of situation, it takes this concentration off of me. I've already got advantage because I've set up myself in a certain way where I can utilize my natural point of aim. Maybe squaring my foot to him or blading it off just a little bit. You can find this out by doing a bunch of drive fire, a bunch of repetitions in the range. At this point in time, I know I got my square, my shoulders hip, uh, my shoulders square, my hips square to him. It gives me a little a split second, and all I need is that little time for him to be distracted. Then I will draw from the low low position right here with the bent elbow position, I know I can fire with a very high accuracy, I will hit him. We're no longer talking about bullseye accuracy, now we're talking about combat accuracy. Rounds on him and rounds down range, the faster we get that done, the more we're winning the fight, the faster we can get out of this situation. So again, from here, squared hips, I'll draw, fire, fire, and as soon as I can get two hands on the gun for retention and recoil management, I will, and this is why I'm putting it as I'm backing away and giving myself space. And when I punch out, I'm still not looking for my sights, I'm looking for just indexing my gun because I'm indexing pretty much the entire area of my threat area. Of what else may pop up if he's down, got to follow him all the way to the ground. All right, so hopefully you get it, um, this tip you can use, and I will see you for the further episodes of Arms Coordination on the Range. Shh. <laughs>